Broadcasting live here somewhere in the middle of the United States of America on NBC Studios, the top of the hour, and we just switched over to ABC World News with yours truly speaking and filling in for all of the other reporters, bringing you the real news that will shock you and make you fall over with heart attacks, fart attacks, or other attacks. Because you've never seen a news story like this before. Never in all your dreams have you been woken up to the facts. I can go into a lot of facts. <laughs> yes, you surprised? Well, we're going to be talking about all kinds of neat things that you don't know about that are not shown in the regular news. Pretty wild guy that guy is. Split personality. Okay. Yes, Major. I say he's got a split personality, all right, you know, love. A bit out to lunch, you know, he has been for a while. Did you know he had a book published about him revealing his inner secret? A little bit. Oh, I didn't know that at all. Um. Ouch. Must be electric spark shooting off my legs. Hmm. Welcome, folks, to March of the Hobbits. I am the roving reporter, Carla Conniption. Always doing my best to report the news. Yes. Hello, John. How are you doing? You're letting off sparks again. Oh, my. I'm scared of that thing. Ooh. Buzzbox. Buzzbox. Oh, my. What are you doing? What am I doing in the middle of the United States working on this? I'm making an electric trip. Really? That's what you're doing? Wow. Never heard of it before. It's all great to me. Well, uh, it looks like it's an energy source. It's a self-reactive material. Meaning that it produces its own electrical energy after it's polarized with high voltage. Ah, scary looking stuff. Ooh. I don't like that. But I'm told it's a good thing. So, John, last time I was reporting UFOs, now, what are you doing now? Electrit is a self-reactive material that is used in capacitors. Oh, really? Well, it's dangerous. I wouldn't want to touch that. I'd get thrown across the room. I'm going to go right now into high voltage. Ignition transformer rated for 10,000 volts. What happened if I flipped it? No, really? No, I'm not licking it. <laughs> it looks like a compact the bottom of my face, but it's got a lot of funny stuff running in it. I don't like that. Oh, that's an aftershock. <clears throat> oh well. So what are you going to make out of this? What's it going to power? 
What's an electric? Well, it's both a rapid and aluminum foil, so the crystallization process and the ionic bonds form within it over a week's time, and the polarization process is complete. And you unravel it, and voila, you have a capacitor, self-charging type. Oh, that's what an electric is. Oh dear. Never heard of it. Hmm. <coughs> it all started with a YouTube video. Okay, well, now, since we have a simpler version of all this stuff, and this diode's running it, so you're making power cells and electric self-reactive materials. <laughs> Yes, Major. Carry on, carry on. Where's Smitty, my engineer? Right here, Major. Come on, carry on, John. Carry on. Live from CFRB, ABC World News. John Kenneth Hutchison with Smitty, my engineer. Hello, Major. How are you doing, lad? Okay, name the... You're out of character. You're Carla. I'm, well, I'll be out of character. <laughs> the hell? You want to... You want to be a woman or you want to be a man? What is it? Yeah, what is it? You want to be a man or you want to be a male? Wait a minute, that doesn't make any sense. Do you want to be a, a sock or you want to be a lunatic or a female or male? Hi, my name is Sock. I'm from Sock Rapids, named after yours too. I don't think so, Sock. What? I don't think Sock Rapids, named after you. It's S-A-U-C-K. 